Lately, uh, people have been coming up and asking me like, hey, why did you go with the Evo S's gimbal over the other gimbals on the market? And I usually go through about three to five reasons on why I chose the Evo S's gimbal. So it got me thinking, I should probably make a video on why I chose the Evo S's gimbal. All right, so reason number one. I haven't heard any problems with the Evo SS gimbal when it comes to like panning. What I mean by panning is this. All right, so I'm riding my bike. I make a right. Oh, it's panning. It's got to catch up. I have heard people complain about like, let's, I think it was Feiyu Tech. Don't quote me on this, but I believe it was Feiyu Tech. 99% sure that they were having problems when it comes to the panning speeds. And even when you go into adjust it on the little remote, um, it just wouldn't catch up, you know, as efficiently as the Evo would. Um, I have also heard that there has been some like horizon issues with it over time. Like, you know, people will be using it and it actually will, um, it'll be like facing down. It won't track the actual horizon. Like, so instead of pointing at like you're going through mountains or whatever, and instead of it pointing straight on and finding its picture to get the, it'll be like pointing downward. So the panning speed and horizon issues. That's the first reason why I decided not to go with any of the other co competitors. The second reason why I went with the Evo SS gimbal, cause I really liked the control app. I liked the layout. I thought it was very easy to use. Look, I'll get into it right here. Click on it and it pops up. So you have like your pan axis, pitch axis, roll axis. You have the calibration right here. You have the control. Um, you have all kinds of different options. It just seemed really like easy to navigate through. So I really like that. The third reason why I chose to go with the Evo SS gimbal is because it came with this awesome wand thing. This has been so incredibly useful to me. Um, all you do, you take the gimbal, and there you just screw it in the bottom and voila i do a lot of filming like this i do a lot of my reviews i do like my buddy's bike checks i'm always like all right guys da, da, da. and i'm just you know it's just it's so useful you could you could actually do this as oh shoot that was scary i'm like no you just unscrew it like this or unlock it per se and it actually will extend you gotta like make sure you get it all the way over well depending on how far you want it. So you can go like this. Um, I don't ever extend it this much, but it you can do it. You know, it's there, the capabilities there. And this is a really good handle. Um, it's made out of metal and it's got a nice rubber feel to it. It feels very high quality. I really think if you were gonna buy this separate, it could be in between 30 and $50 if you were to like go to Best Buy and get it. So right there, the extra money that you're spending for the Evo SS gimbal is already well worth it. The fourth reason why I decided to go with the Evo SS Gimbal is because Evo is a U.S. company. If anything happens to the gimbal, they're just a phone call away in the U.S. I've heard people that have gone through just crazy madness trying to get a hold of the manufacturer of Feiyu Tech or Zayun. They're in other countries. And guess what? If something happens where you need to send in your gimbal to get it replaced or to get it fixed, you have to ship it across the world. And it's going to take forever for it to get back to you. It could take months. I don't have that type of time. If something happens with the gimbal, I need it to be fixed at the most within two to three weeks, at the most. So that right there is a huge selling point for me um, and should be for you guys too. A gimbal is not like an Apple computer to where you can call Best Buy and be like, hey, look guys, I'm having problems with this. Can you help me out with this? A gimbal is kind of like something that not everybody uses. So having Evo in the US, if you need any like assistance with how it works and how to set it up is very important. So that is a huge selling point for the Evo. Reason number five, this gimbal is crazy durable. I've crashed multiple times with this thing. If you guys remember my video where I separated my AC, Uh, I went down on the Yeti shoulder first. This thing got crunched and it actually got hit so bad that it shut off on its own. So I thought I broke it. I thought it was over. 
And I'm like, well, there goes the gimbal, you know? Um, I pressed the button, just check it, and went right back on. I have crashed probably five times with this thing, and they weren't chill crashes. They were pretty, like, I hit hard. And this thing is still good. I have scratches. I have scuffs. This thing can take a beating. Um, I've watched other YouTubers, and I've watched them crash with, like, let's say, a Feutech. And then they said, oh, wow, it just hasn't been working the same since I got in this crash or that crash. I'm not saying that if they got in that exact same crash, depending on how bad it was, that this wouldn't work as well. All I know is that I've heard that other people have crashed with the Feutech and uh, the other gimbals, and they didn't work. There are two YouTubers that I follow that were using the Feutech, and they ended up going with the Evo SS gimbal. So that should just say a lot right now. It's a crazy testament to this thing's reliability. I even asked uh, one of my friends recently, and they said, dude, this thing is solid. Like, they've used it for, like, over a year. They said they probably had a 1,000 miles on it. It's awesome. So those are the five reasons why I went with the Evo SS gimbal over the other ones in the market. So, guys, I hope you liked the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share. Just want to let you guys know, if you guys want to buy the Evo, I'm going to be putting a link in my description, and it will take you to Amazon so that you could purchase the Evo SS gimbal if you guys decide to. Now remember, if you guys want to support the channel, just click those Amazon links when you go and purchase anything on Amazon. As long as you use my links before you purchase something, you just supported the channel. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. This is Tony with MP Dropping, and I want to thank you guys for dropping in today. I'm dropping out.